Hey everyone, I'm Zan Baig, this is Auto Group, and this is the 2021 Infiniti Q50 Luxury All-Wheel Drive. It's actually called the Lux Trim, but you know, it's, it's meant to be the luxurious one, but you could also get the Sport one, and then it goes all the way up to the Red Sport 400, which gives you 400 horsepower. So this particular one has a V6, and it is twin turbocharged, so it makes 300 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque, which is right around, you know, the horsepower output of the Lexus IS, for example. But it is still a little behind the BMW 3 Series and the Mercedes uh, uh, C43, I guess, you know. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with the looks on the outside. So it's, it is finished in this black and I think it looks really, really good uh, on the outside. I really like the chrome accents and stuff. It looks, uh, it looks very nice. I, I don't think this car has been changed for uh, uh, probably six years, seven years maybe. So uh, they, it is maybe due for a little uh, bit of an update. but. It is still overall a very nice sporty uh, sedan that you could buy. And let's go on to the rear real quick. Let me show you the design. So this is uh, what it looks like in the rear. Very nice. I really like these tail lights. You know, LED tail lights and headlights, of course. And I, you can also get this in all-wheel drive as well. And this is, uh, you know, the all-wheel drive model. And it has uh, very nice uh, trunk space actually for this size of car. So that's good. And uh, the interesting thing is when you want to open the, the trunk, or when you lower it, it's very light and then bringing it up is a little heavy because it actually has those, uh, you know, the pumps at the side. So let's just close that up. Special thanks to Ali at Motorworks uh, Infinity for providing this vehicle for review. You can come check this one out. Uh, this one is about $46,000. So uh, let's go ahead and check out a couple of the interior features before the drive. All right, so for the interior, the uh, the height uh, to get in is pretty easy obviously for this car and of course you have powered seats for your ease of access uh, it's not difficult at all and when we close the door what I love is you have some luxurious uh, accenting over here with the stitching down here and on the doors over here as well and you got this uh, you know multiple like pleated type of finish almost for the leather and the gauge cluster is very very nice and classic we do have a manually adjusted rack and this is the farthest uh, you could bring it uh, forward which is actually pretty good it's still a nice sporty position uh, what I'm noticing is that the pedal box is a little small it's a little more uh, you know uh, cozy if you will uh, which is I actually like these types of things it makes me feel kind of like you know super like this is very driver focused uh, in, the, in terms of the interior I like that a lot and uh, this does have a two-tone you know uh, interior so it has your kind of like this is a macchiato beige type of headliner at the top you know with your fabric uh, the type fabric material on here so what I really like is the material quality over here for uh, you know controlling your infotainment system and you do have a double screen setup so let me show you that real quick you got the bottom screen with a bunch of controls got some climate controls on the side you know pretty nicely done uh, with that and you could turn those down pretty easily then uh, you got your over here your phone your info let's click on that you got in touch services vehicle and if we go out of that you got connections I think you this is for your uh, uh, you know connecting your Bluetooth and stuff which is great and you can also connect Wi-Fi so you have a rear view camera obviously that's mandated and then you have your bird's eye view as well but you know if you put it in the park again it also shows you your front especially you know when you're coming out of parking spots and it shows you the steering angle as well these are all really nice high quality features that uh, we all want in the car so that's great and other than that you do actually have your forward collision assist and you have your blind spot assist and lane assist and emergency assist so uh that's great i think i think actually forward assist is the okay that's your radar cruise control they just call it forward assist so that's really nice and overall you know the the layout of looking out uh, out of this car is pretty good there's pretty decent visibility and in the view mirror as well it's pretty well done uh let's go ahead and sit in the back real quick and see uh, let's see how i fit in the back so uh, I'm gonna try to sit behind myself. Uh, this is set to where I'm sitting and I'm about 6'2 or 6'3, so. Uh, yeah, I actually can maybe fit my legs, but it's not exactly for super tall people. So this is, yeah, this is not really, but at least the headroom is pretty good. And let's go ahead and check out this. Uh, you got your armrest as well uh, with some cup holders. So, and you got some uh, climate control vents over here. And I believe you also have a USB outlet and a micro USB. So, well done, Infinity, with that. 
Okay, so getting started with the drive, uh, we're starting in standard mode and what you can immediately notice is that uh, the steering feel is very nice and light in the standard and it's pretty decently accurate as well and you can hear some of that engine noise right there uh, pretty nice and easy and super effortless feeling brake pedal so uh, when you pick up speed uh, the transmission actually really responds nicely it's not a super lazy uh, transmission uh, at all and it's it's nice and active in your response the steering wheel does come really nice and close to you maybe for you know taller people like us they, we want it like half an inch closer maybe so now we're in sport mode and uh, the steering weighs up a little bit and I think the transmission is responding a little better now um, even though it did respond perfectly fine in a normal mode as well but another good thing about this car is that the suspension isn't too stiff um, it's still nice and decently tuned although this type of road you know is a bit rough so now we're in eco mode and uh, i could tell the transmission is way softer now it's just not you know really pick uh, the throttle response is way lazier you know meant to it's, it's the mode that's meant to save you the fuel economy so that's good and sometimes i'm noticing the thing about the suspension is that while it is you know you don't feel way too many bumps it, it does have a little bit of bounce uh, when you're driving here and there but overall you know it is a very nice and decent uh, driving sedan uh, you can straight up cross by this you know with like a Lexus IS or a BMW 3 Series or a Mercedes C-Class and this is for uh, those drivers who maybe want a bit of a, a different type of feeling sedan you know the materials and quality in this car uh, in terms of the value are really solid uh, which is good overall a very nice driving uh, luxurious sports sedan and even in standard mode the shifts are good so overall the time with the 2021 infinity q50 luxury all-wheel drive has been uh, pretty interesting because uh, i didn't expect this much uh you know premium feel from this car because you know the, the market is mostly shifted towards bmw and mercedes in terms of you know the sports sedan category and, and Lexus as well but this is actually very very unique and it almost gives me the vibes of, uh, of like a previous you know slightly older the more driver focused type of uh, uh, BMW type of cars you know it has a kind of a German feel uh, in its design and in its fit and finish and uh, you know the way it drives is like that as well and it's a pretty good value at $46,000 uh, you know uh, you could pretty much cross by with the other competitors uh, pretty well with the 300 horsepower uh, twin turbocharged v6 so thank you so much for watching this episode of auto group special thanks once again to ali at motorworks infinity for providing this vehicle for review and we will see you guys in the next one So when you click on the camera button, uh, it gives you, you know, your bird's eye view, which is great. And then it gives you uh, your forward, uh, you know, forward facing camera. But you could also go to the rear one as well when you click on change view. And now. But it does also have your backup camera and it shows you the. <laughs> um, so uh, you do have your normal, of course, backup camera, and then you also have bird's eye uh, uh, view, uh, 